Hey y'all, welcome to Coffee Time on the Pacific Crest Trail. We are uh, right next to the beautiful Lower Ray Lake. Um, there's a set of three lakes, Lower, Middle, and Upper Ray Lake. Um, just past uh, Glen Pass, so I went over Glen Pass this morning and I uh, thought I'd have coffee. It's about noon, had some lunch, hung out, um, waited in the water a little bit, and uh, thought it was a beautiful day. It is uh, pretty warm, the sun's out, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, thought, uh, thought I'd make some coffee for me and for y'all. It's a real gentle breeze that kind of blows across, but these lakes are beautiful. We're about, uh, we're above 10,000 feet right now. But yeah, I got the water boiling. Just poured that on my, just poured that on my thumb, but we'll be okay. That pre-rinse our filter. Let that drain through. Already uh, measured out 20 grams of coffee and ground it. And uh, there we go. Toss that water. Rinse the filter and uh, warm up, warm up the vessel, help uh, maintain, maintain the temperature. Let me zero out the scale and pour in the coffee. Make sure we are right at, we are at 20.1 grams. So right where we need to be. I'll zero that out, kind of tap the bed so it flattens out a little bit. And then take our water, which was at a rolling boil. Make sure this is zeroed out. Start our timer. And uh, start pouring that 60 grams of water to start the bloom on the coffee. There we go. With the sun out, it's a little tough to uh, read the scale. Kind of dig around a little bit in the coffee bed. Make sure that uh, all the grams are, uh, uh, all the grounds are exposed to the water. But yeah, it's been a beautiful day. Uh, the pass, uh, Glen Pass was pretty, uh, pretty easy today. Um, there was a little bit of snow on the north side coming down. We're at 45 seconds. I'm going to start the rest of my pour all the way to 360 grams of water. But yeah, Glen Pass, so spent uh, the previous two days mostly going down um, a different pass into the town of Independence and resupplying for the next stretch. So really took about two full days to do that. I was able to hike into the pass and out of the pass, but didn't do many PCT miles. Okay, there we go. Give that a stir, get the grounds off the uh, sidewall of the uh, the filter paper. Just let that drain. But yeah, it was uh, uh, eight miles each way uh, going uh, going down Cursage Pass into uh, to a parking lot and then getting hitches in and out of Independence. Uh, so I was fortunate that that went really well. Able to make it to the post office uh, before it closed for the weekend and uh, pick up a resupply box. And uh, yeah, it just kind of worked out really well. Took a little bit of a rest, took care of some uh, some chores while I was in Independence. And, uh, but then hopped back on trail and uh, for this next stretch, we're about uh, mile uh, seven, uh, what, 795 about on the Pacific Crest Trail right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit mile 800 and then uh, this section of the Sierras is, uh, there's just sort of, you go from uh, pass to pass. So, um, was it Glen Pass, which is about 12,000 feet today? I'm gonna go down, go up half the mountain uh, later this afternoon, and then tomorrow go over um, uh, Pincho Pass, and then I think as well, uh, Mather Pass. And uh, yeah, so it's just kind of uh, the life out here in the Sierras. It's beautiful, there's all these mountain lakes. We are about two minutes and 50 seconds of the water finish draining through the coffee bed. So I think we got a pretty good cup of coffee right now. Um, let that cool a minute, but uh, 
yeah, the weather's beautiful out here. Uh, the scenery is beautiful. The hiking's pretty good. Um, there's definitely a good chunk of elevation up and down, uh, but uh, not too much snow. Haven't run into too much snow, and hopefully it continues to melt going uh, uh, north uh, northbound or Nobo, as uh, through hikers say. And uh, yeah, it's just been really great. Um, ran across, uh, been running across other hikers ducking in and out of town. So people that I haven't seen a little bit or haven't seen in a couple days. So that's always a really wonderful part of uh, the trail and just seeing familiar faces and saying hi for a minute. But uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. Got my uh, Merit uh, whole bean coffee. And uh, let's try this out and see, uh, see what we got here up at uh, uh, Ray Lake. It's pretty darn good. So it's definitely, uh, there's a lot of equipment here to, to haul around up and down uh, these mountain passes, uh, but uh, it is really worth it. And uh, it's nice to be able to take a break and just uh, do something a little bit uh, more in uh, sort of normal life and uh, make some coffee and enjoy it. And, uh, but I'm gonna get packed up and uh, clean up get back in the shade because uh, my fair skin is uh, not uh, not made for this sun and uh, um, yeah just uh, get back to hiking and uh, get back to hiking through the Sierras and on the PCT so thanks for watching um, please like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>